what you see now is kind of called elements of architecture. We decided to kind of really uh, do an exhibition uh, where every element is analyzed from the beginning of time to the current moment and in certain cases even beyond. It is based on a, a book uh, I've been doing with Harvard uh, for two years and it will be, the book will be present in every room but obviously every room cannot represent this encyclopedia so we typically chose uh, moments or emblematic uh, uh, aspects. What you see here for instance is one of those emblematic aspects. You see a dome that has been recently restored by the Biennale at great expense. Uh, the ceiling there is a kind of symbolic plane where uh, there is room for beauty and meaning. But you also look inside the kind of belly of a false ceiling and see how, how the two have fundamentally and radically changed and how uh, there is actually, the, the ceiling now has become a kind of thick volume completely charged with uh, machinery uh, over which the architect has kind of very little uh, to say. And you see that the expression has been kind of reduced to that of a kind of grid. In, in best cases a Messian grid, but typically a kind of more mediocre grid. Architecture is a very ancient art. Each architect is kind of by definition is schizophrenic. One leg in 5,000 year old history, the other leg in the kind of present. And that means technology and that means the digital. Uh, my obsession with elements has been to focus, to, to assert that elements such as the elevator, the escalator have never really been incorporated in either the ideology or the theory of architecture and that now with the new digital kind of intersections, digital hybrids, digital combinations, uh, the risk is that architecture is simply incapable of thinking of its entire repertoire and, and that is what I hope will be one of the outcomes of this uh, uh, exhibition a modernization of the core of architecture and architectural thinking itself.